Hello, my name is Kelby Shelton, a senior product manager of Splunk Soar. Today I am showcasing how the Splunk Soar product helps security practitioners perform investigations and threat hunting activities at machine speed. In this section, we will perform proactive cyber defense by investigating possible indicators of compromise. We'll show modifying my workspace for easier data analysis and then creating custom hunting playbook to automate the tedious parts of threat hunting. Well, we'll go ahead and start with a CSV from a threat feed, and we want to load that into Splunk Soar. We need a event created so that we can track our activity against it. Next, we'll upload our CSV to the vault And we'll tell SOAR to extract all of the data from the CSV and put it in our investigation. I'd like to customize my layout to focus on file hashes for this investigation and make it so I don't have to open up each artifact. Each hash is hyperlinked, allowing me to hunt that file using any of our connectors that support hunting. In this case, I'll use CrowdStrike. After a couple of scans, I can see that there are no results. I could continue on with this process until I get through all of the hashes, but these 11 are just the tip of the iceberg of all of the IOCs I need to get through. I want to automate the remainder of this hunt and then use that in all future investigations. I'm going to switch to my playbook screen and build out an automation for my team and I to use. First, I'll add the hunt hash action. And instead of entering a static variable, I'll use the dynamic variable suggested by the SOAR Visual Playbook Editor. I'll filter the results based on how many hits I get after scanning my enterprise. If I do get any hits, I'd like to list currently running processes on that endpoint. If I receive any results, I'm going to filter those down. And get the exact process that is running on that system. And with that, my playbook is done and I'm ready to try it out. I'll run it against all of my file hashes and see if I get any results. After it's done, I'm going to customize my workbench to only show CrowdStrike, and I'm going to view it in full screen. I can see one machine has results for my get process detail action. The process detail tells me the name of the running process on the machine, and from this screen, I'm can grab the details for that endpoint to see what's going on.
The details screen tells me it's a Windows Server 2016. From here, I can actually go a step further and create a session to that machine. Once my session is open, I'm going to run a command to list the files in the temp directory. As you can see, there is my suspect file. I think it's time to escalate this to the system owner. With this brief, brief demo for threat hunting, we've built a playbook to hunt IOCs, found hits in our environment, learned the details of the affected machine, and even opened a session to explore the file system. Thank you for watching this presentation of threat hunts and investigations using the Splunk SOAR product.